this is going to be more of a code walkthrough than a demo because uh, I just want to crunch the time of the video where it runs. So this is the use case. You have a Java application and you have a, a requirement of consuming a RESTful service on the way. And using the response, you are going to take some couple of decisions and keep going. So here uh, we're going to see how to consume a RESTful service using a, a client libraries like Jersey or uh, something else. Um, but this demo is mostly about consuming a RESTful service using Jersey library. So for that, you have I'm just having a recipe here. We have three requirements. First, you need you need to have a RESTful endpoint to consume, and using Open Within Maps API to consume it. Uh, as, a, as a service to consume and then you have a client framework choice you can use Apache's uh, HTTP client libraries or you can use Jersey client or you can use HTTP URL connection libraries so for this video obviously you're going to see option 2 Jersey client and then a response big Java application if it's going to be JavaScript application or a Jax call it's okay to return a string but being a Java application if, it, if you are going to return a kind of an object composed format it'll be really easy for uh, passing and taking of the value whatever you want from the object you got from the RESTful service so I'm going to choose the JSON, JSON uh, Google's JSON of, uh, format as an output which is basically a JSON object uh, from Google libraries so uh, this, is, this is the this is the uh, github repository in which I have the code ready for whichever, whatever I'm going to show right now so I have already created the github repository and now this is the workspace I have for that so go ahead and create a, a Maven project just like uh, in the old, old, older videos I haven't shown and in that create a package, um, uh, a, a name of your choice. Uh, the two important Maven libraries you need to have for this consumption is you need to have a JSJC library to consume the RESTful service and to give a composed object or a structured format you need a JSON object uh, and I'm choosing Google libraries for the, uh, giving that kind of output. And, uh, so to explain this, uh, this is this is the whole code that is going to do the magic whatever we have. So go ahead to open with the map API and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to consume this service, open with the maps, uh, whether uh, with the endpoint where if you give a city and state, city and country, you get a response in this format. So for our reference, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy here. I'm going to show you how this got trickled down to this kind of uh, implementation. So. The first and foremost thing you need to define when you want to write a client using a Jersey library is the web target. Web target is uh, a class where you define uh, the endpoints, the path variables, uh, the query parameters. So in this uh, in this whole uh, uh, um, uh, URL, this is a host. These are the path parameters. And these are the query parameters. So how we are going to define that using Jersey? If it is going to be HTTP client, right? So you, should, you must have seen a lot of libraries from, if it is going to be a simple uh, HTTP implementation, you can refer to this page where uh, using Apache client, you just need to in, in download this dependencies and mostly you will give the whole uh, endpoint right here. And that's it, you get a response back. So this is the crude way of doing it. But in a jersey, you can do it in a more formatted way. So if you go ahead, what you're going to do here is you define a web target which is a JAXRS library and then you're going to set the endpoint is equal to a jersey at target so you, you you are defining a client so let us see on how to call the client now we are creating the framework so this is the method which will get taken a city with country code so I'm using a JAXRS API invocation builder which will take the target endpoint and to that I'm adding the path data 2.5 weather you can also do like this path uh, three separate things you can do both the same like you again have a path and you again had 2.5 to it and again you had a path and you add weather to it you're just it's basically following a builder pattern here that's why you're able to achieve this kind of uh, implementation. So now, uh, so we have built until this, and now uh, until this, we have a query parameter which takes the city, city code, and this is this is a kind of a, 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 another input you should pass along with the open with the map API. They don't specify it here, 
but if you go to how to use their api page we go to this page and uh, how to use the whenever you sign up for this page they give you api key so they will specify it here on whatever the endpoint may be pass in this query parameter also in order to make the call work so that's what i added here this is my api key uh, when you will be getting your own when you sign up for one and uh, the requesting type is going to be a json uh, type because i know about more know it's going to be a json type and uh, i'm printing a status if the status is 200 i'm creating a, a a formatted object here so i'm getting a string from here so the string class is being converted into a json object using the google library so for that i'm using a parser so i'm defining a parser here and I am taking in the string uh, entity. So response dot read entity will basically give you the response body, and I'm converting that. So you can see at this point of time, I'll be getting the response whichever way we want. If we go to the, this is the place where I'm invoking the service. I'm creating a client. It's a client from Jaxaras library, and I'm just creating a plain client, a new client using client builder. And I am passing that client to the whether, whether, uh, uh, to this uh, class. And the constructor I am setting the target as the open open uh, weather map API. And once I am uh, once I am done with that, this other client will have is all set up with this host. And whatever call I am going to proceed uh, provide it, it's going to start from here. So I am I am passing in London UK. Let us, let us go and run this program and uh, you should see the output in the console. This is the output. You want to debug and debug it and I'm going to show you the show the place where the response is received. So unit profile object is what we are building. So now if you see how we have got the response in the formatted way. So if you want to get the coordinate alone, I can get this profile object dot coordinate or uh, dot main or dot clouds. So this output, whatever we receive, we have received in a formatted way because of using this one object. So we got output here. And uh, if you want to check whether it's working, I don't know whether it's a valid input. So basically, it is working. So apart from uh, adding all these uh, query and path parameters, we can also add header parameters so there was a requirement where i need to add a header parameter named authorization authorization and where we specify the input as bearer token with some random token name like this so we can specify the header also using this jersey on this jersey client so this is basically web target and you have a path parameter and query parameter added to it you have a request added to it and the header should be added to the request object that's why uh, I'm adding it as the last part, uh, last part of this builder pattern. And uh, you can add any more requests like uh, cache control or whatever requests you want, you can add it right here. So this is another option of providing uh, usual use cases we have where we need to pass in header tokens, something like that. This can achieve it.